welcome students uh, this is dr venu gopal from sino today we are going to discuss sql triggers right sql triggers so we'll i'll going to explain the complex integrity constraints in sql triggers i active databases now before going to that what actually triggers so this trigger is specified by basically database administrator so the trigger is a procedure that automatically invokes the dbms in response to the specified changes to the database so whenever a change is required so you can write the trigger part but who will specify the triggers is database administrator that is what the basic uh, point regarding to the triggers now the database that has a set of associated triggers is called active database right so when our a database administrator will write the trigger that will directly goes to the database to perform something so here before going to write the trigger what is the parts we can have in the triggers so what are the parts means let's go to the next one triggers the parts so one is event condition and what is the action is required so in this point a event is nothing but a change to the database that activates the trigger what is the change is required what is the event then condition so based on specified condition like a query or test that is run when the trigger is activated if the trigger is activated based on the condition what is the next step the action will be performed that is action is a procedure that is executed when the trigger is activated and its condition is true so when now we are writing a trigger part so these three parts one is event condition and actions are required now let's take the example now read the statement here the trigger called init count initializes the counter variable so before every execution of insert statement now this is the your insert statement so meaning that you are inserting a one record to the database then second record to the database third record to the database before going to insert any record now what dba administrator required is execute the trigger on based on the some condition so what is that is when before every execution of the statement that adds a tuples to students relation tuple means add the one record then the trigger called increment the counter for each inserted tuple that specify the condition so meaning that based on the condition whenever a insert statement executes then execute this particular trigger so see the example trigger trigger name initialization before inserting the row or tuple to the student record declare the counter so this shows the actual trigger procedure now count is integer begin initially count is zero then end then coming to the next one continuation of create trigger name after inserting of the statement then when the age is less than 18 so this shows the condition this shows the condition just insert the tuple so for each row means for every record into the database for every each row apply this condition then begin increment the counter for the next row then end so entirely what is happening here is so 
when there is a database so assume there are some fields there is a age field also available so before inserting the next row execute this procedure called a trigger so when the age less than 18 then only insert the record otherwise do not insert the record that is what the action part in the example of triggers from this what you will get is what is a trigger what are the parts of the trigger then how to write the trigger for the specified condition right so hope you understand this concept called triggers in the database thank you